Hi everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. Today I have my August Killer Kit video. I have um, a bunch to show you and I have a bunch left in my kit. Obviously I didn't really kill it, but it's the end of the month. I completed a lot of different things. I completed 10 layouts and 13 cards. Now the 13 cards, obviously, those are much quicker for me because I'm not real complicated when I do my cards. I do a lot of basic styled cards. So I'll show you everything that I did. But I completed a total of 23 projects with this kit. I did start with 17 full sheets of 12 by 12 and a bunch of scraps. And I ended with 11 full sheets of paper with a bunch of scraps. But I'll show you exactly what I did. Um, I also have a list of things that I killed from my kit that I'll share with you along the way. So here are the papers I have left. I'm not going to go into too much detail because you can, if you um, look in the information box below, I will link up my kit reveal video. Um, but I have a lot of the multicolored pages left that I thought I was going to use. I also have one green. I have a few pinks left. And this one I actually had on this side. I was going to use the two yellows left and two oranges left. So I do have a good amount left. I could, go, I could truly go with this kit for another month, but I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to switch it up and try something different. Here are all the scraps that I had left. I did um, start putting this in a bag because I um, probably am going to just use this as the alphabet. So I'm gonna keep this together with my alphabets. And as I had mentioned before, I had all my black and white ones kind of clipped together. I have all my smaller scraps here clipped together. I actually used a good bit of the scraps. I made some more scraps, but I used a good bit of what I had collected. Um, I had pulled this out for journaling. And as you can see here, here are the other big scraps that I have. I didn't touch this piece at all. That's actually the size I had put it in my kit with. I had probably overall... Oops, sorry, my phone's ringing. Um, probably overall I had had about 25 major sheets of paper. And... Like this one, I didn't use much of it, but I did use a portion of it. So those are all the papers I have left. And I'll distribute these. These will go in my scrap bin. Even though they're almost full sheets, I might put this Hello Summer sheet back because it is almost a full sheet. I keep a lot of my Echo Park collections together, so any piece that's part of a collection I'll put back. All the other ones, like this one just came from a 12 by 12 paper pad, I'll put it in my scrap bin. All right. Now, um, I do have a lot of alphabets left. I Obviously, my goal was not to kill the alphabets. I was just putting them in here to have something that coordinated. However, you can see a lot of these are almost killed. I think I've used a lot of the A's, or all the A's, almost all the E's, only have one left. All the I's are gone, all the O's are gone. I have two U's left and a few Y's. Other than that, that's actually almost killed, but I'll continue to use it as I can. I have these little ones. Yeah. Kayla wants to say hi. Can <laughs> you say hi? Put your, hi? put your hand under and say hi. Hi. Thank you. Okay, cut it back down. Alright, and then I had just going to show you all the ones I have left. I'm going to continue to pull these out, especially these that are almost completed. I'll continue to pull these out and add them to kits until I really can truly not use them anymore. Uh, these I'm actually starting to use a lot of as well. I like those colors. These will obviously go much, get much further. I, used, I don't think I used this one, but I used this one. I don't think I used that one. can't remember. I did use this one, this one, this one, and this one. Obviously, I put out a lot. I probably could have used a different one for each layout with as many as I put out. All right. Then I have my sticker sheets. I use them for a few. Again, I'm just, even if I only use them once in my kit, it's okay with me. I'm just trying to use my stash. I'm very much a scrapper from my stash. I was actually thinking about it whenever I go shopping for scrapbook supplies. I typically look for great deals and um, 
just try to save money whenever possible. So I'm actually almost a, I guess you could call a thrifty scrapper. I don't know if any of you guys are that way, but I take pride in being able to expand my stash without spending a ton of money. Um, if at all possible, I don't mind spending money, but it is kind of hard to sometimes spend so much money on just paper. So I try to be um, thoughtful in what I purchase, I guess we'll say. So those are my large sticker sheets I had. I did, <coughs> excuse me, of course I still have these rhinestones. I think I used about three rows of them. And then I have, oh, I forgot about these, these alpha sheets have those as well. And I have all of these sticker sheets which I used, oh, I didn't use that at all, but I used almost all of them at least on one layout. Um, and this one I had pulled out really not thinking I would use it and I ended up using it I think on two different layouts. So that's a success. If I can use it on multiple or even just one thing, that's a success. Didn't use those at all. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I used these these green rhinestones and envelope and I did use I believe two brads off of here and I had pulled out this envelope as well I wasn't sure if I would use either one of them but I pulled them out in my kit the whole point of a kit to me is to try to find different things but also um, limit my stash to where I'm not looking through everything at once All right now I had these which was a snap simple stories birthday um, pack and it has a 20, 124 pieces in here. Now I did find in looking through here, not every one of these cards is actually in the kit. Um, well, I mean, all of these cards are, but there are more cards in the kit than what's on the back here. So there are a few things that are not on here that I used, and then I'm trying to remember to mark through all the stuff that I do use. So that's that set. And then I have a lot of my 4x6s left, and of course a ton of the 3x4 cards left. I only ended up doing two Project Life spreads, so I didn't use a whole lot of those. Now these, these I used a lot of in my cards. This is a vellum sticker pad, and it originally came with 50 pieces, and I'm down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm down to 13 pieces, so that's pretty darn good. I may continue to roll this into my kit and see if I can go ahead and make cards with the rest of it. Just about all of these are, are things I would use for a card, so I may continue to roll that. Of course, I have my perler beads that I made. And then here are the last little bits. I have two of the ribbons left. I ended up um, using two full ones up. Of course, I have my washi, which actually this orange one is almost completely used up. My washi that I pulled out. I have four flare badges left. I used a couple of them. I was really happy to use an orange one that I used on my last layout because I've had that for quite some time and I wasn't sure how I would use it. Um, here's the last little bit of that one of those ribbons that I used. I have a bunch of little labels left, which, you know, like I said, I pulled out too many, so I have a lot left. I have some eyelets left, which I did use those, and I am happy about that. The Studio Calico Alpha left. I have all of these left, and I, again, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, because I just, I tried a couple of times to use them, but when I use them, I want to use all the same color, or if I'm going to alternate them, I want them to be all different colors, but whenever any word I was using it in, I would end up with like two greens next to each other, then a purple and a blue and a yellow. But I just didn't like the two colors right next to each other. There wasn't enough variation to make it different. So I didn't use these and I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with them. I probably, well, I mean, I know I'm just going to stick them back on my stash, but I don't know when I'll end up using them. A few of the labels left. And then here's the confetti and then a few of the brads that I had, not brads, um, yeah, brads that I had pulled out. I used a couple of them, but I do have a good amount left. So that's pretty much it. Um, that kills my kit, uh, or at least ends my kit. Let me clean this up and then I'll get my layouts and cards to share with you. Alright, so before we go through what I completed, um, I wanted to tell you what I used up. So I had a set of Ikea cards, looks like these, these gray background ones. Um, I used up those four cards. I had some white embroidery floss that I finished. I had some Studio Calico gems that I finished. I had some SEI folded, pre-folded cards, which are these, that I finished. Um, 
I had some Recollections Dimensional Birthday stickers that I finished. I had these two ribbons that I finished from American Crafts. And I had some puffy stickers from Studio Calico that I used up. Here's all my packaging so I can remember to tell you. Um, now one thing that I am going to throw away are these rub-ons. They're just so old. They don't work anymore. So I'm going to throw them away. I tried. I really did um, on some cards. But I couldn't get them to rub off and they were just destroying. So I'm going to throw those away. So let me show you my cards first. I had 13 completed cards. And then I'll show you the layouts. So I have this one which is Summer Sunshine. It says, you are amazing. This one says, hello there. Just black on the inside. Lucky you. Just some basic things. But I like having cards to mail people. So this was really nice to be able to make so many. This one says, a job well done. These are the Studio Calico gems that I completed. This one is, you're in my thoughts. I really like the way this card turned out. It has hearts on the inside. Um, you make me a better person. Um, sorry, Kaylin's watching a movie and I thought he was getting scared. Okay, this one is, I'm wishing a happy birthday to someone very special, you. And then it says, just for you and love. This one says, I hope you have a super memorable and amazing happy birthday filled with cake eating, candle blowing, and gift loads of good times. And almost all of these sentiments are from that um, set I mentioned. It says, you deserve a big thanks for all the good mem times and memories. This one says, here comes baby, and this one opens the wrong direction, because I wasn't paying attention when I was making it, but I'm still going to use it. It's going to my sister. She had her baby a couple weeks ago, and I'm going to take this to her. Um, I was there while she was delivering, but I couldn't stay until the baby was actually delivered. She was in labor from Friday, let's see, they induced her Friday evening, I guess, and she had the baby early Monday morning or Sunday night so I had to come back home um, so I couldn't stay at the hospital any longer but I was there for most of the time I just still haven't seen the baby well actually by the time this video goes up I would have seen the baby but this is gonna go to her um, you brighten my day really like the bright colors here happy birthday Here are all the envelopes that go with those pre-made cards. They had matching envelopes that go with them. This one says, love you always. Oh, I did use those little stickers, but that's the only time I ended up using them. And this is going to be a card for Ernest for our um, anniversary. Oops, those cards don't go here. Um, so that's this one. All right, so then that's all my cards I made. Quite a few. And then here are my layouts that I did. Let me move these out of the way so you can see these. And there's a process vid video for every single one of these. Oh, and by the way, my tool that I pulled out this month were these scissors that I used, and I used them quite a bit in um, a lot of different layouts. So next month, I think I might pull out stamps, but these were the tools that I used this month. I try to, uh, I'm trying to pull out one tool a month that I will use throughout the month. It's just a way to make sure that I use my stash as much as possible, including the tools I have. All right, so this is the last layout I completed. So these are in order backwards, I believe. This one is preschool sites. And this is that flare that I said I was really glad I got to use because I didn't think I would ever use it. It's orange, it says, let's go be adventurers. This is a Project Life layout. I used my um, Christmas kit plus a few of the scraps that I had in my kit. Um, but I used the Christmas kit to complete this one. This is the December 2013 part two page. There's this one that's called My Little Pumpkin and this is where I used up some of the ribbon um, from the kit. 
And I believe I ended, I finished these puffy stickers from Studio Calico on this page. This one is titled Little Monster, and I used some of those brads that I had pulled out. And this is also where I used the final birthday um, puffy sticker on this layout. I like this layout. I think it's cute. Alright, this is the first page of my December um, 2013 album. And um, I used some of the scraps and also... Um, the the majority of the cards, like all of these things, and I cut these from a card, um, these came from that birthday um, snap pack. This one. This one. A lot of the stuff on this layout came from that. Then I've got this one, which is birthday cupcakes, and I used the, uh, the other of those present pop-up pop stickers on this one. This one's called Carefree. This one is Cute Curls. That's that paper I cut apart and using, I'm using on those titles. <laughs> um, I've got Big Boy, Big Heart. Love the way this turned out. I used some more of that ribbon here. I used those stickers, that I, these stickers, the Love LC stickers. I used them on a couple, I saw them on a couple cards and on two different layouts. So I was able to use them more than I thought I would be able to. And then this is the um, last layout I have to share. And this was also made with my Christmas kit. So I have two layouts that were actually made with a separate kit, but I did make them this month. Um, and I mentioned before that I was going to carry my Christmas kit over into August. So this is the last one I made and it used that Christmas kit. Um, so that's everything I made this month. I have a lot... <laughs> A lot to share. Um, I had a lot to share with you. Um, so I'm working on making my September kit right now and um, stay tuned. I plan on still having three videos a week and I also have my haul from August coming up soon. Um, I believe it will be right after this video. All right thanks guys. Bye.